Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create some good and bad sprites in the Food Catcher game. So what I'm talking about is sprites that you want to catch where you'll get a point and sprites that you don't want to catch because you would lose a point. So what we can do is we can right click on a sprite and duplicate it. And instead of being um, food, maybe I'll say good and bad for our sprite name. Now for the bad sprite, I don't want it to be food. I'm gonna go ahead and make it so that what I don't wanna catch is um, Amen. I don't wanna catch Amen because I don't plan on eating him. I'm not a cannibal. So just in case you were curious, I'm not. Uh, anyways, so uh, the sprite is the same as the good sprite, which is not good because I don't want to earn a point whenever I catch Eamon. I want him to land on the ground on his own. He'll be fine. He's like a cat. So I need to change my code in here. In Eamon, the bad sprite, I want to actually lose a point instead of earning a point. And I don't want to earn a point at all. Now, if Eamon lands on the ground like a nimbly cat, I don't want to lose a point either, so I got rid of that there. So it's basically the same code as my good sprite, except instead of earning a point, if I catch it, I lose a point. And instead of losing a point, if uh, Eamon falls all the way to the ground, it does nothing. So now watch. Press the green flag. If I catch a banana, I earn a point. If I catch Eamon, I just lost a point. But if Eamon falls to the ground, I don't lose a point. So that's all you need to do to uh, create some good sprites and some bad sprites. Maybe you'll make some healthy food that you want to catch and some unhealthy food that you don't want to catch. But make sure that instead of just making a direct duplicate of it, you also go into your code and change it. So if it's a bad sprite, lose a point. Don't lose a point here. Good sprite, you earn a point, but you lose a point if you don't catch it. Cool? Other things that you can do whenever you create multiple sprites like this is actually changing these numbers so they fall at different speeds. So maybe Amen is actually going to fall at a faster speed than the uh, food sprite, which is our good sprite. Cool? Experiment. Have fun. Make Amen do some cool stuff. It's your project. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.